Welcome back, this is Mr. Tipton, and today we are learning about the percent proportion. Percent over 100 equals part over whole. Also, is over of. Alright, we know that what a percent is, is a ratio out of 100. So that's why we have percent over 100. And then part over a whole, uh, often uh, the word is will refer to a uh, part of something and of is going to refer to whole or a total all right um, this by itself doesn't mean a whole lot to you right now but as we start doing some problems uh, basically what we have is a four pu four piece puzzle here percent 100 part whole the 100 is never going to change because a percent is always a number out of a hundred all right let's jump in and do some examples together uh, here we've got our percent proportion up in the top right of the screen, just for a reminder. Example 1, 25% of 176 is what number? Okay, trying to find out what number is 25% of 176. We need to set up our proportion. It's a four-piece puzzle, and 100 always goes in the bottom left. All right? We've got, we're dealing with percents, percents are out of 100, so we're always going to have 100 in our proportion. Now, if we look, our percent that we're given goes above the 100. And right here is our percent, 25%. So that's going to go in the top left above 100. All right, now, the next part of our sentence here is of 176. We know that of is a key word that tells us that it goes in the denominator. So 176 goes in the whole spot, in the of spot. All right, we are looking for part of 176. We're trying to find the part which I will use a red X to represent. All right. 25 is less than 100, so whatever x is, it's going to be less than 176. It's just a part of 176. Now, how do we find that number? We know how to solve proportions. We are going to set the cross products equal. 100 times x is equal to 176 times 25. Then we simplify each side. 100 times x is 100x. 176 times 25 is 4,400. Just put it in your calculator. And now we solve. We're multiplying 100 times x, so we need to divide away the 100. And what we do to one side, we must do to the other side leaving us with x being equal to 44. So 25% of 176 is 44. It is 44. The is is the part that goes above the whole. Let's look at another. Percent over 100 equals part over whole. 24 is what percent of 30? 100 is going to go in the bottom left every time. And if you notice in this problem, none of our numbers have percent signs by them. It also says what percent. That's what we're trying to find is how much out of 100 is 24 of 30. All right. Of 30, that's our whole. It goes in the whole spot. And 24 is, 24 is what percent of 30? It's a four-piece puzzle, and the first piece is always done for us. Set the cross products equal. 30 times x is equal to 24 times 100. 30 times x is 30x. 24 times 100 is 2,400. 
divide both sides by 30 and we get x is equal to 80 but keep in mind what are we being asked what percent this is 80 percent that we just found all right if you took a test and it had 30 questions on it and you got 80 percent of them right that means you got 24 questions right out of 30. All right, example three. 30 is what percent of 24? Starting off every time with 100 in the bottom left. And it looks like we've got what percent again? What percent? None of these numbers have a percent sign by it. So that must be where our variable goes. That's an X right there. Um, looks like we have the same two numbers, 30 and 24, but this time, actually, let me go back. 24 is what percent of 30? 24 is what percent of 30? But in this problem, we have 30 is what percent of 24? So this time, the is and the of are switched okay if the part is greater than the whole 30 is greater than 24 what does that tell us about what the percent will be well it tells us that the percent is going to be greater than a hundred because 30 is greater than 24 we still solve the same way 24 times X is equal to 30 times 100. That gives us 24x is equal to 3,000. We divide both sides by 24 and we get x is equal to 125 percent. Remember it's a percent. All right, let's do one more example together. 80% of what number is 94? Starting off with 100 in the bottom left every time. And right here is our 80%. It's got a percent sign by it. So it must be matched up with the 100. Next we have of what number? It means we don't know what goes in the of spot, in the total spot. But whatever it is, we know it is 94. 80% of what number is 94? Set the cross products equal. 80 times X is equal to 94 times 100. 80X is equal to 9,400. Divide both sides by 80. And X is equal to 117.5 is what my calculator told me. And that's it. Okay. Percent proportion. It's a four piece puzzle. One of the pieces is already done. You just got to fill in the other pieces and do your cross products. If you have questions about how to set anything up, write them down. Come ready with it tomorrow. See you soon.